Hello, it's Sarah, and today I'm making bracelets. These are, they've become a staple for me every day. I wear my little slogan bracelets, and I generally, I generally always have on Let Go and Let God because I'm really trying to practice that. And Believe has been, and because I love the citrine, I think I got this at Joann's. Um, but it's just so gorgeous and in person. I can't even, it's just so pretty. And it's the bigger, these are at least 10 millimeter. Um, so I'm gonna, I had some other 10 millimeters that I wanna bring back to life in a way, right? So I've been using my Swarovski crystals. Initially when I made these bracelets, I was really just focusing on the semi-precious gems and like little pieces of silver. And um, I thought, I want to just bump it up a little and add um, some Swarovski crystals. So like on this one, this is also, um, whoa, this, um, what did I just say it was? Anywho, uh, but it's smaller, but see, I put crystals in between the letters to make it kind of, just to make it more, you know, updated. For this one, what I'm going to do is, because I used a thinner, um, I am now really more into this. This is the 0.7 millimeter elastic cording because it just feels more substantial and, and I think that matters. Not that it is stronger because I've worn the 0.5 as well and I don't think it, I've never broken it. It's just that if I'm, I am giving these away and I want to make sure that um, people feel like this is much it just, I can't explain it, but it has a much, much more give to it. So they may put it on and just feel like, woo, and it's just thinner. But I've been wearing it, and it's not, once it's on you, it's okay. It's just that, um, like I said, I'm giving them away, so I'd really rather that they just felt um, more substantial. I'm just going to remake this using the same beads and breathe instead of pause. Pause, um, guys, it's just a wonderful thing to do. You just sometimes, instead of being on automatic pilot, like I am most days, and we all are, we get in this, you know, all, what do we have to get done? Da, 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 da. Regardless of that, it, you, if you take a minute and just breathe, be present, look at what's around you, enjoy what's around you instead of in your head, you're not even there, <laughs> you know? Anywho, it's been helping me a ton and look at this gorgeous purple. I'm running out of a lot of the um, Swarovski crystals that um, I love the color of, obviously, because I'm using them, but that's a good thing, I'm using them, B-R-E-A-T. H E. These are, I got these, I want to say Hobby Lobby, and because I was running out of E's. Obviously, E's um, I'll sh are in every word. There's vowels. Let me show you these. This is the big, um, I got it for half price, so around 10 bucks. But this is still going pretty strong, and I've been making lots of slogan bracelets. But look, the T's are running out and the E's. Have plenty of A's, I, O. So most other vowels, what other letters? Like, there's a ton of letters left. It's just the E's. So what happens is, you know, you'll have to go buy another batch. So I did. I bought this and I bought another one. I think they were half price. I tend to do that when things are half price. Um... But, uh, I've, I've been able to make quite a few bracelets with what I have. So, I don't remember um, how I had this set up. I think I had a silver bead, a bling. Yeah, I think I did. A silver bead, a bling. And then at the back, where I tie the knot, I've been hiding it in this like a much bigger hole so I tie the knot and then you can kind of hide it behind see all my bracelets have that they have like two Swarovskis and a little bigger bead 
to hide the knot. So I'm just going to do that one. And then the other one I wanted to, I just want to add, um, this is too tight. So instead of the silver here, I'm going to put Swarovski's and I'll probably still use this one for to hide the knot. Again, it's just, otherwise, you know, I mean, I've done it before where I've just tied the knot when it's for me. I don't mind. Like, even like on this one, the knot's definitely going to be behind a bigger bead. It just has a more smooth transition. Like, the knot is here. It's sticking out. But it just gives it more room. So instead of pause, I'm writing breathe. So I'm just going to tie this up. This one I'm going to change. And this is quartz. So regular, it's clear quartz, but it's not, um, in the bead it came out more um, cloudy. Um, and amethyst are both well, amethyst is a very spiritual. I don't even know what this is. I think it's just a pretty purple random stone, but I'm still going to use that. But this is amethyst. I'm going to use this for my face. I'm going to take these silvers because I needed these. These are the ones I've been using for the knots. I'll leave this one for the knot. And then I'm going to see if I have, I have these like bigger Swarovski bicones. So I think I might add a little bling of that. I have rounds. I have a lot of different Swarovskis because I was addicted to these early on in my beading adventures. Um, but that's like a, I would say that's at least like a number five millimeter because then I have a, a, these bags of them. <clears throat> These, and they have a B on them like um, a coating so these are just probably three to four millimeter and this isn't the oh these are four let's see these are four millimeter because this is the bag they came in um, but just to add a little sparkle these are round so instead of the bicone which a bicone is like two triangles like this it's like kind of shaped like that instead of just being round but this is a really big one, and I think because I'm doing it with these bigger beads, I can use a big one, and um, it'll it'll look good. So I'm just going to find another. Oops, found it. This does not have the AB on it, and this does. So let me set that aside. I just want to make sure they match, and it's for me. I'm not, you know, this one is anyway. It's another plain one, though which I could absolutely use, but why wouldn't I <laughs> use a more uh, flashy one? Another plain one. So that could be my random AB bicone. Now that being said, I do have a round. This has AB on it. Let me see the size of it. I could use that, but now I need another one. Um, anywho, you guys, I am trying to get in here. I'm, I'm going to create, um, my stepping stone next, but, um, it's been raining. It's been the weirdest spring and it's so anyway, but we need to get outside. Like we're opening the pool. Things are starting to open outside. Like this weekend I hosed off between rainstorms, I hosed off the back deck. I gotta get the front deck today. You know, the pollens, there we go. Those are two, this one actually, is it bigger? It looks bigger. That's weird. Anywho, um, because I love spending time outside in the spring, but boy, it's just been raining like crazy. All right, I think these two are going to be good. And this doesn't even look like a clear quartz. I might have thrown in other things because I didn't have enough. But adding the Swarovskis will, will um, help. So, anywho, that's all I wanted to share really for today. Um, have a great day. 
make it a great day because guess what it's a choice you can choose happiness and it isn't always easy life is lifey and you know people are people but we're all in this together let it begin with you and have a great one thanks for watching